Moving on, we have in the studio Inua Bakari Jalingos. He's the Census Manager, National Population Commission, to respond to important questions surrounding the proposed national population and housing census to happen in March or April of 2023. Hello and welcome to News Hour. Thank you very much for having me. It's nice to have you on the program. Now, it's been 16 years, you know, since we last had, uh, you know, the national population census. And then uh, the proposed uh, timing is just around, you know, the elections. Is that really a good time to conduct census? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we have put all this into consideration in trying to plan for the census. If you look at uh, the set of activities, you realize that we are going to do the pilot census in June, mm -hmm. just after the, uh, uh, the primaries. And then we are going to do the main census immediately after the gubernatorial election mm -hmm. in April next year. Right. So all these have been put into consideration in arriving at the dates that have been approved uh, by the president after the State Council of State meeting mm -hmm. uh, uh, last week. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's been quite a number of criticism, you know, by, by people with regards to, you know, to the timing, you know, of this. Wouldn't this, you know, prompt some form of uh, discomfort? As no, well? if you even if recall, this. in uh, fallout to the 2006 census, it mm -hmm. was just about the election time. Right. And uh, apart from Nigeria, census is a statutory uh, teams that are held almost every decennial, that is 10 years in many countries. Mm -hmm. Indian have been doing it for over 100 years. Even Ghana, despite the ravaging COVID in 2019, mm -hmm. still went ahead to conduct their census. Because that is how important census is to any country in terms of planning uh, uh, and, and national development. Mm. So in terms of technology, because as we're seeing, the world have quite moved on, you know, with this, in terms of deployment of technology, are we going to see a lot of that, you know, as we, you know, look ahead? Yeah, this is a, a very, very different census. It's a digital census. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nigeria is going to be the fourth country that is taking a shot of the digital census after Kenya, Ghana, and presently ongoing in South Africa, mm -hmm. which we also went to review. Uh, so digital census bring a lot of opportunities. It gives you reliable, real-time mm -hmm. data, mm -hmm. and also timely data. Unlike before where we do the traditional census, it takes six months, one year, or sometimes two years to be able to release the results. Mm -hmm. But digital census provide opportunity for high-quality data, for accuracy, and for real-time monitoring of the census process. Mm -hmm. And we are not new in that in the National Population Commission. Uh, our enumeration area demarcation, which is the census mapping, which we completed in about 772 local government areas, it was based on this digital platform. Mm -hmm. And um, I can tell you, uh, Nigeria has one of the highest uh, repository of a geospatial data in Africa, which is an outcome of what we have done with the enumeration area demarcation, mm -hmm. and which earned us an award by, uh, uh, in, the, in, in the United States of America later this year mm -hmm. for, for doing that mapping exercise. And this exercise, which is 100% uh, uh, homegrown, using homegrown software to do, has also enos uh, recognition in the statistical data collection. And uh, presently, we have sent a team to assist Sierra Leone with their own mapping exercise as a result of what we have done with the enumeration area demarcation in Nigeria. Okay. So, you know, with these, uh, you know, techno technological advancements, you know, that, that you've mentioned, uh, are we sure we're not going to see any hitch, you know, any irregularities? Yeah, you know? that is why we conducted the first pretest. That is why we conducted the second pretest. Mm. That's why we are going to do a massive pilot census in June. Mm. And all this is to try and ensure that uh, your system works, your whatever technology you are deploying works. Mm. Census is not a testing ground. Uh, it's a massive exercise. After all, there is no exercise that is massive as the census. Mm -hmm. So we can't afford to have hitches. Uh, we are trying all our possible best to ensure that uh, we carry on a very, very good exercise. And that is why we are going to do the pilot, which is just a dress rehearsal for the census. It gives us from end to end in terms of what we intend to implement for the census. And assuming that we have, we experience anything, definitely we will try to check redress. And apart from that, we are also studying countries mm -hmm. that have done digital census, like I have told you, right. Ghana, Kenya, and uh, South Africa. 
we are seeing what are the prospects, what are the challenges, what are the solutions. Mm. And uh, we are collaborating with international experts, uh, both local and international experts, to try and, as much as possible to ensure that uh, we have a seamless and, uh, exercise. Okay. Now, earlier in our conversation, you talked about data. Now, stakeholders, uh, I think I, I saw a data that showed that uh, almost 54% thereabout of uh, Nigerian children uh, and also uh, other individuals in the country ha 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 do not have, not registered, you know, births and also deaths and all that. Because stakeholders have emphasized on the importance of having this data to make it a bit much easier to conduct census. Yeah, uh, the vital registration system is totally a different system with the census. Mm. Is that clear? And uh, it is also one of the prerogatives of the commission to collect this birth and death registration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So far, we have about 4,000 registration centers. Mm. If you look at how massive Nigeria is, it's a far cry of the number of centers we are likely going to have. And uh, so the commission is working assiduously and have started digitizing the process of the bad registration and also is working assiduously to expand also on the bad registrations. Mm. These, are, uh, these are activities that normally happen after because the census is a so massive exercise and that... Uh, once it is well done, this uh, data from bad registration and other civil registration system mm. also provides additional information to the population of the country for national planning and development. Okay. Uh, presently, uh, we all know that Nigeria is grappling with security challenges, yeah. you know, and all of that. Do do you have you made you know preparations, you know, for some you know security challenges that might arise as you conduct? These yeah, sessions? we are we are all observing all the issues. Uh, our chairman has been holding high-level advocacy meetings with the military, mm -hmm. uh, the Air Force, the, uh, the Chief of Army Staff, Chief of Defense Staff, and even the Civil Defense. We are networking with all the state governors in terms of trying to see how to uh, overcome this. But I can tell you, the Commission, just last week, we have done uh, updating of enumeration areas in 171 local government areas across the country. Mm -hmm and we don't have issues in those local government areas. And as you may be aware, we have done about 772 local government areas of the enumeration area mapping. So, and these are all very, very massive exercises. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, security is part of the main reason why we need census data. You know, at least uh, we want to know how many people are covering uh, a certain population of Nigerian population in terms of security. Mm -hmm. It is only a census that can provide you this data. And uh, Nigeria, we don't stop eating. We, we need the government to plan and provide food for us. The government needs to know how many people they are providing food. We need schools. The government needs to know how many people they are providing schools, what kind of schools. And also we need health facilities. The government needs to know what number of people and what is the age category of these people they are providing these health facilities. So all this is showing how dynamic and how important data is, even to the, security, the subject of security in the country. Okay. Now, in terms, you know, of bu uh, budget, uh, how how long, how much rather, is the commission looking at? How much of budget are we looking as, at? Here? As of now, um, the budget for the census is about four hundred and thirty-two billion mm -hmm. naira, and uh, uh, to assess census budget, all you need to do is to divide the population of the country by the amount that is being projected. Okay. And expectedly, you should be able to have a minimum, a minimum of about $5 to count one person. And uh, uh, in Nigerian budget, I think we are just about that. That is the minimum expected. So we are trying, we are still within the international minimum rate in terms of budgeting. And you know, <clears throat> one thing with census budget is that uh, about 60% of the money is going to be paid back to field functionaries supervisors, enumerators, field coordinators, mm. and all this. So what we are going to probably buy in terms of equipment, and this is all about less than 40%. So most of the money is still going back to the economy to pay field functionaries. And uh, I think uh, uh, you know that the Mr. President is doing a lot to empower Nigerians through different platforms. So I think uh, census is another platform where people are going to be empowered because they are going to get work. It's going to engage a lot of youths uh, that are going to be, we are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are recruiting over a million and 1.5 million Nigerians to work for the census. This is massive. No, oh, that's interesting. And uh, I believe it's also going to improve in terms of the income of the people.
Oh, well, a lookout, you know, to get yeah. updates as yeah. you prepare, you know, for the census. Thank yeah. you so much Thank for coming much. on the program. Yeah. Uh, we've been speaking with Inwa Bakari Jalungo, his census manager, National Population Commission, responding to important questions surrounding the proposed date for uh, the national population census uh, in Nigeria.